Hi, this is Veena Prashant from DishLancesFast.com and I'm very happy to announce the launch of our new plugin, DAP Easy Installer. DAP users will no longer have to worry about FTP or how to find the root folder of your website and how and where to upload the files because that's what this plugin will do for you. This plugin will make DAP installation as well as DAP upgrades really simple, easy, quick and effortless. So what are the minimum requirements to use this plugin? This is a free plugin. As long as your access to DAP support and upgrades has not expired, you can use this plugin. If your access has expired, please contact us and we'll let you know how to renew your access to be able to use this plugin. Now let's take a look at how to install and use this plugin. The great thing about this plugin is you can use it to do both brand new installation of DAP as well as upgrade from one version of DAP to another. Let's take a look at how you can install and use this plugin. First step is to download the Easy Installer plugin from your members area on our site digitalaccesspass.com to your desktop. Now when you download this plugin, also download the version of DAP and the version of Live Links that you are looking to install or upgrade on your site. At the end of the process, you should end up with three different zip files on your desktop. The DAP zip file, the DAP Live Links zip file, and the DAP Easy Installer plugin zip file. Now the DAP Easy Installer plugin installation and activation is one time process. If you had done this previously and you already have the DAP Easy Installer plugin installed and active on your site, you can skip this step. In that case, you don't have to download the Easy Installer zip file. You just have to download the DAP and the DAP Live Link zip files. When you log into your members area to download the DAP and DAP Live Link zip file, also remember to make a note of your DAP license key because you will need it for the DAP Easy Installer plugin setup. You can install the DAP Easy Installer plugin like any other WordPress plugin. Go to your WordPress admin dashboard plugins, click on add new, select the upload tab and then click on browse and browse to the folder where you had downloaded these zip files. Select the DAP Easy installer plugin zip file and then say install now and it will complete the installation. After the installation is completed, when you go to your WordPress admin plugins, you will see the DAP Easy installer plugin there. Make sure to activate the plugin and once you have activated the plugin, you will notice that under settings, there is a new settings page for the DAP Easy Installer plugin. You can go to settings DAP Easy Installer page to install DAP on your site using the Easy Installer plugin. First step is to enter your DAP license key. Now you would have noted this down from your members area on our site dishlifesispass.com. Enter that and hit save license. Now if you already have DAP on your site and you have come here just to do an upgrade, then you will notice that this will be pre-populated. Now you will this will be blank and empty. When, uh, if it's a new installation of DAP, but if you already have an installation, then it will already be there. Uh, you can just do save license to proceed. This plugin automatically does a minimum requirements check to make sure that your server has all of the libraries and all of the settings set correctly to run DAP. If anything is incorrect or missing, this plugin will tell you exactly what's missing. And in that case, you will have to contact your web host and let them know what is missing so they can install it generally. These are all standard libraries and standard setting, so you should not have an issue. It should all be set correctly. But if not, this plugin will automatically tell you what's wrong. And in that case, you have to contact your web host and they can fix it for you. And then you can proceed to step two. In this case, everything is set correctly. So I get this message and now I can proceed to step two to complete the installation. The second step is to upload DAP. Now we had downloaded DAP and DAP Live Link zip file earlier to the desktop. So here I will just browse to the folder where I had downloaded the plugin. And first step is to install DAP. So I will just select the DAP zip file and say upload now. And this will take care of uploading DAP to my site. And after this is complete, it will take a couple of minutes. So you have to give it uh, time. And once it's completed, it's going to show you a message at the top and tell you exactly what happened. If it completed successfully, in that case, you, will, you can proceed to step three. If the DAP installation goes through successfully, you're going to see this message at the top. Now you can proceed to step three. Now step three is the same thing, except now it's going to do the Live Links plugin installation. So just browse to the folder where you had downloaded the DAP Live Links zip file and then select that and click on upload. Now it's going to complete the DAP Live Links plugin installation. After LiveLinks plugin is successfully installed, you're going to see a message at the top that says LiveLinks has been installed successfully. Click here to activate the LiveLinks plugin. If it's an existing installation of DAP, 
Live links will already be active. In that case, you don't have to do anything. You don't have to reactivate it. But if it's a new installation of DAP, remember to click on this link and activate the Live Links plugin because only when you activate it, DAP installation will be completed. Now, after you activate the Live Links plugin, you're going to notice a new digital access pass link in the left sidebar of your WordPress admin dashboard. Now, this will allow you to access the DAP admin panel from within your WordPress admin dashboard. When you click on it, for the very first time, if it's a brand new installation, you are going to see a license error message. Just follow the instructions on that page to set up your license in, your, in the DAP setup config section. And that's it. Your DAP installation is then complete. If it's an existing installation, then when you click on the digital access pass link, you're going to see a message that says click here to complete the upgrade. Just click there and complete the process. And that's it. You're all set. One more important thing. If it's a brand new installation of DAP, go to settings, permalinks, and uh, make sure to select an option which is not the default option anything other than default option and hit save there even if you have not made any changes on that page remember to save the permalink setting here even if you have not made any changes just hit save once because this will generate the rules that are required by dap for protecting content on your site so it's a very important step do not skip it um, click on save and that's it you're all set now you can go back to the dap easy installer setup page and the final step is the cron setup. The cron job is required by DAP to run scheduled processes. Uh, anything which takes a long time to run, it's done out of cron, so it's a very important process. Um, if you find it complicated, just open a support ticket with us and we'll set it up for you. Uh, but if you want to do it yourself, the instructions are right here, step four of your easy installation process. It also gives you the exact command that you need to enter in your web host cpanel just enter this set it up to run once every hour and that's it you're all set